Hey, welcome, welcome back, back to the Becoming, Becoming podcast. podcast. We've got our guest with us again, Peter and Leo. We've got so much information from the last time that you were here. Really lovely to have you back again. So we're going to get into that a bit more deeper this time, which is going to be great. First off, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Hotel Boutique Leonardo for having us. And I thank you guys for, for joining us and sharing. And please remember to like, share and subscribe as we, as we go along. So, hey, welcome back. Good to have you here. Some great comments from the last, one, the last time that you were here. So I'd like to build on that a little bit more. And we had, I had a number of questions which we didn't get into then. So we're going to go as deep as you guys feel comfortable. Be, be really nice. So first off, Last time you talked about it, it was forming and you were creating a community around what you're doing. How do you find that is, that is going as, as people are, are, are forming this community around you? First of all, everything started with the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. That was the year when we, when we started to teach more and more and more. And mm. why? Because gyms, yoga studios were closed. Right. right. And people were looking for uh, activities outside in the nature, open air, which made them feel more safe. Yes. And then this is where we started. So at some point we got to a point we, we were teaching uh, after one class another class because we needed to, to bring that up. Right. And then we just realized that those people who are keep coming and it doesn't matter if it's for yoga or for the training or for both because there were people who came for both that we realized that they start to get along they start to have jokes they start to talk they start yes. after the classes and sessions they stayed there they had a coffee yes. whatever and then if you think even they said that that it's a great how the community builds because now they don't go out in a pub to have some booze. Yes. They come into a class yes. in the morning, totally sober, having a great training for the mind and for the body. Yeah. And then they just kept going. And then people were finding us and then the, the, the group was growing and the community was growing. And then that was a, a, a big thing. I mean, that's, that's great that they're feeling comfortable Yes. in yes. your presence yes. Yes. in a short time and one thing that the COVID did which um, the, the powers of be weren't uh, reckoning on was people coming closer together, yes. families coming yes, exactly. closer together. And at the same time they found that it's something which is good for them. Even the people who never did something like that before, yeah. they started to feel healthier, they started to feel stronger Yes, and then there's just a great thing what yoga does to you yes. and then being together with people and share you don't need to do by yourself everything no yeah no. i know you can swim but there are a boat which is gonna pick you up yeah 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 it was really beautiful you know to see like how the connections are forming within mm -hmm. the community within the people who were visiting the classes between them because you could see that friendship started to be created, nice. uh, there are yeah. lots of support systems or collaborations, you know, and, yes. and everything yeah. was kind of unfolding naturally and of course still until today it's happening because, yeah. uh, you know, I think it's a sense of community when you arrive also to the class and you feel already connected because you see familiar faces. Yes. Uh, sometimes, you know, because our class is kind of personal, we always greet everyone and we mm -hmm. welcome everyone personally. Uh, meanwhile, you know, if you take London as an example, in a yoga studio, sometimes you just walk in, yes, sort you of put the mat down, you don't down, stay, yeah, 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 hello yeah, to yeah, anyone, yeah, and no. you walk out, and yeah. you don't even have connection between the no. teacher, no. and uh, and that's why, you know, for us it's really important that we always, you know, know everyone's name, we are aware who is there, mm -hmm. and I think for the clients also coming, they are very happy, you know, when they have, you know, already someone on the class who they met before, or there is a lot of yeah openness and uh, yes. friendly vibes and which is you know yes. supporting everyone so the yes. experience is not only I did a sport or I did something yes. for myself but also some collective uh, yes. feeling about yes. it yes. Yeah. and people are helping other people exactly. as well and it's not only the people that are coming to the classes and what you're offering yeah. but it's for you guys as well yeah. making yeah. you feel, yes. feel yeah. good yeah. Exactly. it's a lovely feeling isn't yes, it absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was you know very heartwarming when we saw that how it's naturally yes. unfolds yeah. and uh, and still yeah today you know seeing that that it's basically yeah build on that that we just encouraged and inspired others to mm. come to move but yeah. at the end it's actually much more yes know, yeah. yeah it is it really really is much more yes um and it's it's like a 
the community that's building this, like the touch, even just the shake of a hand, yeah, the connections yeah, yeah, yeah. that we have, or the hug afterwards. Yeah. There, there's nothing involved. It's just that yeah. it's so important. So, yeah. but it's just so, so lacking, isn't yes. it, at, at yeah. the moment? Yeah. You know, yeah. the, the human touch. Yeah, human yes, touch. exactly. Yeah. So that's no, really lacking. Sure. What you said. Yeah. 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 And and I want to go a bit deeper now than what we talked about this um, into more of the spiritual side of it as well. And and I really want to with some of the upcoming guests as well. We're going to be going a lot deeper into this. So you know, hold on to your hats because uh, we're going to start to, to delve a little deeper now. Um, talking about awakening, how can you sort of explain this to people? It's very deep topic and not easy mm -hmm. to explain very wide also. Range. Okay, you got, you got five minutes to say <laughs> <stay laughs> <in there>. that. <laughs> Awakening, we oh try, my gosh. We try. Yeah. 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 Uh, so naturally, you know, when you start to do spiritual practices, which can be either breath work, meditation, physical mm -hmm. practice also sometimes, um, something starts to shift from within and you can have spontaneous awakening moments and i really believe that now we are living in these times that it's even more supported yes. also collectively but um, also as we're getting into the practices it happens more naturally because at one point you can you cannot avoid what is happening so you might mm -hmm. have visions or you might start to see you know colorful lights yes. and these things we can hear from more and more clients of us also that throughout you know a session or even after a yoga class they experience yes. different type of experiences and of course it comes that point that you question what yep. is happening yes. so yes. then when you start to uh, step on this path that you want to get answers i think you naturally been drawn to the situations or people or to websites where you start yeah. to learn more about it what is happening yeah. Yeah. And uh, in our case also, it was especially during the COVID that when we started to have our regular meditation practice, which mm -hmm. we now three years, um, that every day in the morning when we wake up, the first thing what we do is meditate. Yes. And this I encourage everyone to do. And it's not only just because you want to achieve enlightenment or mm -hmm. awakening experiences, but really the way how you will see everything, the world, how the day passes after. Definitely. And uh, of course, the positive side that you start to get into the uh, experience of awakening, yes. which is uh, undeniable when yes. you meditate daily. Daily, I think yes. it's yeah. like you you coming back to your true self. You you literally have a sensation, the clue what's true and what is not yeah. true. Yeah. When you no longer need somebody to tell you what to do because you know what to do with your body and with your own life. Yes. And then when you get to a point when you need to choose where do I go, right or left, then mm -hmm. you're going to have this sensation, this very good feeling, these butterflies, and then you're yes. going to get, okay, I'm going to go right because this is the way I need to go. And then you're going to choose consciously. Yes. So it can be one part of it. And there is many, many part of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I think when people are having the, the awakening, and I know for myself, different stages at different times in my life and it does go right back to childhood and, and, mm -hmm. and before that as well. I, I remember and I go back and for another a topic for another time. But you start to raise your energies. Yeah. Yeah. You know, your, your friends were here, maybe the ones you went to the pub with or you're socializing yeah. with, your energy's up here. These people feel a little bit threatened. Yeah. For them to the, come up here is hard work. Yeah. They want to pull you back yes. down, don't yes. they? Oh, from that. Yes. But then you notice that when you're coming up here is that you attract people of the same yeah, energy. Yeah, the same vibration. Yeah, yeah exactly. The frequency of vibrations. Yeah, exactly. And then you rise together. These yes. vibrations, when we're raising our vibration, you start to talk on channel 6, but only the people on channel 6 can understand. Yes. Channel 4, they won't understand anymore. No. And this is all right. We are all improving if you want. If you want to stay in the same circumstances but doesn't serve you anymore, it's okay. That's also your choice. But this is what I, I experienced my case, exactly what you said, that I just started to uh, uh, take care of different things what I never did before and interest yeah. different things what I never did before. Yeah. And those things what interested me never interested those ones who I used to grow up yeah. or went through pain or suffer. Yeah. But we still love each other, we respect each other, but we have a totally different path. And totally. totally. And, and, I, and I remember that I would have to put a question or two questions to people to see what their response was before I would go deeper. That's because right. otherwise they say, oh no, that's no. Blah, 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 whatever, you know. Yeah. And then, okay, they're not ready for yeah, that yes. yet. Yes, no. yes. But now it's less. Yes. Yeah. 
and you just say something and all of a sudden people are just wanting to jump in and yeah, share. Of course, of yeah. Course. yeah. And you find that with, with the people that you're with as well. They yeah, just oh yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the the onion is peeling. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. And they're just coming in. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Exactly. That's so true. Yeah, especially you know, for example on our retreats when we do like a deeper work, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, for us it's also important, you know, certain teachings uh, fit with people who really want to go deeper. I I think and this is what comes from my lineage or from my teachers mm -hmm. also that I don't want to uh, push anything on anyone which they didn't ask for so sure. um, this is you know it can be a form of abuse also if you mm -hmm. it, not everyone has to you know awaken it's, yes. we need to kind of accept what you said also that some people yeah they will stay on a lower vibration mm -hmm. and that's okay mm -hmm. and you offer the help and if they say yes then okay. this is when we go deeper sure. into certain practices also so when on our retreats we go into uh, deeper practices, it's really interesting uh, how, you know, uh, the transformation start to work. Sure. Because you start to notice that they sharing things what they never experienced before. Yes. And yeah. uh, of course, as we always integrate and uh, share about each other's experiences, mm. there is this support system which at the end lifts up everyone. Yes. And when they go home, sometimes what I see, it's difficult if at home you don't have the support system. Sure. Because of course, the other is not going to understand what no. happened with no. you. No. But uh, for those who really want to shift their vibration and go higher, mm -hmm. um, they will go and step on this path and they will take the next steps in order you know, to change and yes. to transform. Yes. Yes. And then sometimes the family situation and dynamics do change, yes. um, for sure, awesome. and then they, they may not be willing to stay in that, exactly. in that place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then again, others are coming in to yeah. be with them and to support them. And your community, we yeah. talked about, are there to yeah. help and support. You guys are there to help yeah. and support them on their way, yeah. yes. which is important. And yeah. going deeper, you said that going deeper, let's just get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on this, uh, this retreats, we can do that. We yes. can really do that because people are spending more time with us and mm -hmm. we share more. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that was my phone. I didn't, I didn't turn off the phone. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, um, past life work. This then just to communicate. I mean, I, this is what I work with as well. Mm -hmm. So this is natural for me, and I talk about this pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. How are you finding people are coming to you to talk about past lives? That's a that's a that's an interesting topic. You, I, in my case, I won't talk uh, uh, to everybody about mm -hmm. uh, past life experiences. We we all had so many life in different forms mm. and then anywhere else maybe in this life in this earth maybe on different earth mm -hmm. but this is really real yes so you need to kind of what you just said that you questioning a few mm -hmm. and then you kind of like set the table and if you feel that connection then you can go in it because yes. it's not a conversation you're gonna say how how did you feel after work? What have you done after work? You're not gonna yeah. go. Hey, do you remember your past life? I was an uh, animal, or I was uh, in different planet. It'd be great if we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> great. That yeah. would be great. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we offer ecstatic breathwork, and uh, this is a very particular way of breathwork, okay. which is about um, yeah, kind of you know releasing any emotional trauma, mm -hmm. holding, mm -hmm. and also to connecting with your subconscious. Okay. And um, on our retreats, when we offer that type of breath work, this is actually when quite often past mm. life experiences can show up or right. come up also. Right. It's always different every single time and for every single person it's mm -hmm. different what you experience. But uh, it can easily happen that something from your past lives comes up because yeah. it's an altered state of consciousness what we're reaching with this uh, particular breath work. Mm. And uh, using also uh, intense music which also kind of supports yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, and then at the end we do the integration so uh, mm. people can really share what they've seen and mm. of course this is when we start to figure out about past lives. Yes. That, yes. Um, you know that it can happen easily that they start to feel the pain uh, so mm -hmm. the emotions are rising also yeah. what they experienced in their past lives and yes. then the vision comes together and then it starts to be clear yeah. what was it exactly or yeah. what they experienced. Yeah. So this is very interesting because um, we can really understand, you know, our identity more, mm -hmm. who we are, mm -hmm. and more connecting with the psyche, which yes. is uh, ultimately, you know, a beautiful uh, yeah. journey to, yeah. to get to this path 
to discover who you truly are. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's also uh, moves beyond of this limitation that we yeah. are only, you know, just in this human uh, yes. form yes. right yes. now. Yes. It's yes. We, our soul has much deeper history. Yeah, yeah. very much so. And, and, I, and I can feel it talking with you because there are some people out there who offer the, the past life work and other work um, who haven't got the experience or the training. And if someone has a, a healing crisis mm -hmm. or they go through there, and if somebody is not looking after them, mm -hmm. it can be very traumatic and they yes. can be left yes. in shock. Yes. That's right. That's so right. we need to be with people that can, yeah. can look after them and know what to do if, if this happens. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. We, we think it's really, really important uh, to understand that, that uh, these uh, deep works, this psychoactive breath has an effect. Yes. So we know things, we understand things. So uh, there is many, many people uh, doing it for big groups, 60, 70 people, Oof. and there is one hour for that. So they just, yes. for example, festivals, they come doing this session, never did before, and then things can come up. Yeah. Traumas can come up. Yes. And then after a uh, few, one hour later, the session finished and everybody goes home. And yep. that person is going to be confused. Yep. Don't yep. know what's happened. No. No, and exactly, therefore, exactly. We, we, for us, for us, it's really important to have it's on a more private setting. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Therefore, we have time to talk about. Yes. Yeah. And the and integration. Integrate, yeah. Integrate the yeah. things. What's happened? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really it's, important it's, for us. It's kind of nowadays a little bit fashion, I would say, also yes. to practice this type of breathwork. And there are many schools mm -hmm. who are offering with mm -hmm. a little bit of different setting. Mm. But um, yeah, I think uh, the idea that do that in such a big group, it can mm. be very confusing. Yeah. And yeah. what you said that sometimes at the end can cause actually more trouble yes. because people feel spaced out yes. if there yes. was no support system around. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for us, this type of safety is super important. Yeah, no, totally. I mean, that's a huge group, six or seven people. If you're in a sort of situation, something that I, that I do is um, and I suggest to people that if they are um, having a healing crisis is to put your hands across your heart mm -hmm. to bring yourself back to full awareness mm -hmm. and to feel safe again yeah. from there. And there are other techniques that other, other people use in that as well. But, you know, it is a bit sad and a bit scary mm -hmm. that, that these people have these effects and then they're, they're put off in this for, for life. Yeah. They won't go anywhere near it again. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Which I saw, because but it's unknown. Yes, it is. It's scary. Yeah, 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 us. yeah. And you talked about, you know, um, retreats, your retreats and things and the numbers there. What sort of retreats are you, are you, are you sharing? What are you offering? So uh, now, as we live in the middle of the island, in, mm -hmm. a, in a Finca, we have space uh, outdoor also and indoor. And that means that we offer for mainly residents or people who live here or maybe just visiting for a short time, half day or one day retreats. Okay. Uh, usually we do it once in a month and always about a different topic, different practices what we share. And also we offer a private retreat setting for up to four people. So we can right. host um, maximum uh, in two rooms uh, to two people. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we designing a program which the individual or the small right. group needs. Okay. And that's very interesting because yes. we yeah. have, as, uh, as you see, we have like a kind of a wide range of selection what we offer from sure. different practices. And uh, when we do a discovery call, we can set an intention yes. for the retreat yes. and we can really discuss what's the idea, what they would like to receive mm -hmm. from the couple of days mm -hmm. what they spend with us. Yeah. And that can be, you know, from uh, fa uh, three to nine days long and right. then it's uh, really yeah. a, a deep healing journey. So yeah. it's not only like a yoga retreat. No, uh, no, 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 no. But you can judge the level. Yes. To a certain extent, before they arrive, yes. absolutely, yeah, yeah. and then absolutely. when they arrive within a day, you know. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. So it's yeah. uh, I didn't talk about, but my other passion is cooking. Wow, I love to great! Cook. I yeah. love to yeah. cook. I did so many diet in my life. When I was eating meat with meat, I did that diet. I did. I think all the diet is all listed. I yes, tried. Yeah, yeah. And then we are talking about that. We're talking about um, allergies, intolerance, yes. and then we cooking together. We share the information nice. about nutrition. So. We are spending time, quality time with yep. each other. Yep. Yep. And as we have a strong bond in between each other, yes. then we would like to share and have the same ripple effect around people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it radiates yeah. and it's <laughs> wonderful. You know, it's like the two candles coming together. It's just with the energies <laughs> around you. It's yeah. lovely, really, yeah. really yeah. nice. They say like, uh, individually, we are a drop of water, yes. but together we are an ocean. Yes, yeah. yes, for sure, for sure. And, and, Sound, that sounds wonderful, and, and the retreats like that in the middle of the island, 
Uh, yeah, sanctuary, yeah. peaceful, yes. quiet, exactly. you know, it's away from all the... Exactly, the noise, the, yes. the city, the yes. stress, and yes. The, yes. Yeah, yes. it's really the perfect uh, space for healing yes. to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fantastic. And do you also have some products as well that you, that you sell? Can you sort of mention some of the things that you have that you... Yes, so basically we, we bring in so much toxins in with different uh, lotions mm -hmm. and then with different products what we buy from shops. So we, uh, that's another passion. We have so many passions, I just realized. <laughs> yeah. we, we're making lip balms okay. and then, and, uh, and um, body butter, body butter. Yeah. we're making yeah. toothpaste, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. Baby powder. Yeah. So I'm really excited about it. Okay, oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Because it's really important what we take and not just consume, but we yes. take into our skin, which yes. is the biggest organ in our, yes. in, inside of us, yes. I mean, outside of us, the biggest organ. That's the first layer yeah. that we can filter things out. Sure. Well, I, I um, my wife, Dorota, she bought the body cream yeah. uh, the yeah. other day, and if yeah. I've been using it on my feet because I've been so dry, uh -huh. and it's magic. It's really <laughs> magic. It's really good. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. And the toothpaste, we're just about to run out, so we think we we'll have to catch up because yeah. we use sunflower, uh, sunfluoride, no fluoride, uh, in the English there, um, because the fluoride has a huge effect on our yeah, body, absolutely. on our pineal gland, on, and just it's it's, it's really absolutely. not very good. Uh, from there, so I must pick up some of that yeah. from you, from you as well. Maybe it's not very um, popular in the mainstream dentist, but that's <laughs> no, true, no. True. But there are other ways that you can yeah. look after ourselves, yeah. definitely from there. And clothing as well. You have clothing. Oh, is it your, your yeah, selling? Yeah, we or? have our branded uh, clothes also, cool. so t-shirts and uh, yep. hoodies also. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, there's more topics branching of this, which would go even deeper in, yeah. which maybe yeah. another yeah. time, but, right. but for sure. But, um, but, but thanks for coming in again. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Is there something us. you'd like to, to share with everybody for, for the second time? Anything you thought of from the last time? Yeah, I think uh, just yeah, keep breathing deeply in and out, which is you know we all should be reminded as often as possible yes. to you know like uh, whenever you, you feel stressed out, just yeah try to slow down the breathing and yes. take some deep breaths because yeah. uh, that's ultimately what can really shift the yeah. state of mind also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. longer breath. Life, yeah. Yes, oh, well, that's true. That's true. It just slows everything yeah, down, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the breathing. We'll get into that because yeah. it's going to take more time. So, hey, listen. Thank you. Thanks thank you very so much, much for coming you, in. Jamie. Namaste. Oh, yeah, <laughs> lovely, lovely having you here. Um, thank you, the Hotel Boutique Leonardo, and thank you everyone for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll have more guests with you soon. So, thanks for joining us.